absolutely massive news for those of you guys that have been looking to get some 151. We have this is this has to be a, a reprint, right? We have a new premium collection coming out with 151 packs in it. This is from Pokey Beach and they are saying we can reveal a new 151 Blooming Waters premium collection. We'll release in the US, Europe and other countries in February. It will contain 12 booster packs of 151, four promo cards, a jumbo card and a code card. Uh, our 151 set originally released in September 2023, so this product will be releasing a year and a half later. Um, and they're saying this is the first time that this is first time we've received this kind of post-release product, and not really surprising. 151 is very expensive right now; it's extremely popular. Um, they're talking about the Blooming Waters part, and they're saying it's unclear what the name Blooming Waters is referring to. They're theorizing Venusaur and Blastoise or Vileplume. Um, so that's huge news, right? Um, so if you guys are looking to get packs, just wait, you'll be able to get this at MSRP, possibly below MSRP. It depends what happens, but this is another premium collection with 151. Also, they're announcing that, uh, Japanese distributor listings have revealed that 151 is getting re-released in Japan and this will be in December. So there's a Japanese reprint. There's an English reprint happening. We're getting more product. Um, yeah, this is great news for collectors, mostly for investors. Um, we'll talk about what that means. We'll look at some of the sealed product and then a few of the cards from the set. We'll take a look at that right now. But I just wanted to point this out. Right now, this is where just loose packs are at. $8.69, just about $9. We'll just call it $9. Um, last solds, we're seeing $8.90 and $8.75, about $9 for loose packs, up 20% in the past three months. So, and 20% in the past month alone. The, this is... This right here, the loose packs are going to get affected the most um, by the this new UPC coming out. Then we have, um, it'll be interesting to see, like, if, uh, I don't think the Pokemon Center ETB will be affected, obviously. It has a stamped promo, so it's kind of a little different, but uh, it's at 224 with last solds at 234. So still continuing to climb. Uh, then the UPC, I would assume that this UPC would be affected uh, with a new one coming in. They'll have different promos, right? But, um, I mean, if you need the promos, you could just buy the promos, right? Uh, this is around 200 bucks, uh, up 66% in the past three months, which is insane. Last sales is at 198. Um, so yeah, I would, ex I would expect that this one probably would get hit. And then possibly this, this is the regular ETB. So once again, if you just need the regular Snorlax promo without the stamp, you can just buy that. It's not very expensive. Um, but another thing up 49%. And last sold at ninety nine dollars ninety nine ninety nine. So this is about a hundred dollar box now. Um, we'll see. Uh, for these products to get affected, it is going to need to be a large distribution, a large reprint, and we don't know what that's going to be like yet. But if I had to guess, it, it should be fairly large. I, it, it's tough to know. Um, the one five one demand is so insane that the product just gets gobbled up. But if we look at what they did with Japanese, uh, they they lowered the pr box prices down from over two hundred twenty dollars down to like almost MSRP in the forty like high forties. So it's possible we'll see what they do. Um, booster bundles are at fifty three fifty three uh, dollars fifty two. So uh, another thing that might get affected if packs are um, more available, booster bundles might come down. Uh, once again, depends on the print run. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the singles. The Charizard at two hundred three. Had its big run up, uh, came back down and coming back up again a little bit. Uh, last sales 185, 202, 198, 175. But there is a 250 sale in here, a few 250s. So be interesting um, to see more packs coming onto the market. Means more singles. We'll see how the singles are affected. Um, yeah, it'll be very interesting. Then we have the Blastoise, which is kind of still taking off right now. Went from 50 up to 76. Last sold at 81. Massive gain, 63%. It's just everything. Everything 151 is insane. And this seems like this announcement is coming right at the perfect time. Got Venusaur just going completely vertical. 73% gain. What is it in the past month? 55% in the past month. Uh, but yeah, $76. Last sold, 79 and 74 It's nice to see Venusaur and Blastoise getting some love after Charizard because, th honestly, I really like... I think... Art-wise, I like the Blastoise the best, then the Venusaur, and then the Charizard. Um, not that I don't like the Charizard, but I just like what they did with the other ones better. Uh, anyways, that's not what this video is about. 
Zapdos taking off up 25%. Every, all these cards are just taking off, right? It's a pretty common theme. So 44 and 51, 52 last solds for the Zapdos, around $50 market price. The Charmander just going vertical, 62% up. Uh, last solds, 46, 43, 47 for the Charmander. So uh, this one, not as much, uh, this Charizard. I mean, it's still definitely up, like in the past month. We're seeing 14% up in the past month alone. But yeah, it's just not quite as vertical as some of the other ones. 38, 42 last solds. We got the uh, Alakazam SIR up 11% in the past three months. Uh, this one's up, but not too crazy. Last sales at 35, 39, 35. The Squirtle uh, is coming down a little. It's still up 30%, though. Last sold around 34, 36, and 30. We got the Bulbasaur. Uh, it's on a, it came up. It's coming down just a little, uh, up 44%. Um, it is not loading for some reason. I do apologize for that. Sometimes TCG player uh, doesn't load. Um, we got the Charmeleon up 25%. And this is not going to show really the last holds either. I don't know why that's doing that. But we can still see the prices here. So what we need to talk about, okay, is however you want to, okay, however you want to look at this, it, I don't, I don't personally think that um, the Pokemon company was sitting on all of these packs. So I think that we've been in the midst of a reprint and that's why we've been getting we got all the those UPCs. We got um, so many booster bundles dropping on Amazon, Walmart, GameStop, all this stuff. It's been happening. And the demand has been just absolutely gobbling it up. Nom, 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 nom. Right. And uh, I think that this, the announcement of this uh, premium collection, um, actually, did they call it an ultra premium collection or just a premium collection? Okay. Sorry, not an ultra premium collection. Premium collection. So that's going to be um, one of those boxes, right? I think. One of those big boxes where you can see the jumbo card. So it's not an ultra premium collection, premium collection. So sorry, I just had to clarify that. Um, I would expect, and once again, this is just the theory. This isn't, I'm saying, not saying anything for certain. But I would expect that this is probably going to be pretty heavily printed. Um, and, uh, the demand's probably going to scoop it up. But we, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard to say. But just know that it's coming. So if you guys have been wanting to get... 151 your time is just around the corner okay okay oh you just have to wait um we're gonna see more about this probably in december but just know that so like for me i, I haven't really been um picking up a lot of 151 recently the prices are just too crazy uh i mean i was getting some i got some on the booster bundle restocks right at like msrp right and that's great and even paying a little bit above you know i'm not uh, but I'm not going to pay 100 in ETB personally. I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'll wait. And if I miss, if I missed, I missed. But there's more product coming right now. Well, not right now. In a few months. And that is very exciting. There's so many collectors. I've seen comments on the YouTube channel, in the Discord server, saying, oh, I just got in. I like 151, but I can't get it. It's too expensive. This is, guys, I'm letting you know. Just wait. Just wait. Wait till February, okay? Uh, if you just want to rip some packs, wait till February. Now, this box, um, probably not, it's, I'm not saying it's going to be, it's, it's not going to be like the best investment, um, like like the UPCs or uh, the Pokemon Center ETBs, but this is going to be perfect for ripping packs, right? Um, so my plan is I'm hopefully, hoping to pick some up um, to rip and to keep sealed. Um, that's going to be my plan. Uh, I don't know how much yet, but it, it's, it gets kind of interesting because... As far as your dollars go, we have the Team Rocket set that's going to be coming out next year, too. So we're going to get 151 reprint, restock, whatever you want to call it. Team Rocket, like, we have the Eevee set. Things are starting to get absolutely crazy for the market. Okay, so there's a lot. And then we have the, the trainer cards, the, the, the trainer-owned Pokemon cards or whatever, uh, that set. So there's a lot coming. And um, also... The Japanese reprint I do think is interesting because this is like what the fourth or fifth reprint for Japanese so um, the Pokemon company is not afraid to reprint these sets and it's just for English it's just gonna be a matter of how big okay so um, yeah that's pretty much it I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that that is coming I do think that that's huge news um, 
maybe that might confirm that we've been in uh, the reprints happened right we've been getting all of these booster bundles uh all of these alakazam zapdos boxes all of this stuff um yeah or it, i guess it could have been just a massive restock and now it's a reprint i don't know uh we, we don't know for certain but what we do know is that more 151 is coming and i think that that is good for the market because demand has been crazy so um that is going to do it for this one guys i will catch you in the next one it was never a phase and wait for your 151 in february that's all i got for you guys